Hello, everybody. Welcome to Thursday. The S&P 500 was down 1.1% today. Uh, as you know, we moved most of our money out of the S&P 500 uh, portion that we have in our portfolio. It was a big one. Uh, everybody that had, you know, uh, gains of less than $10,000 or were in some type of a re retirement plan like an IRA or what have you was moved yesterday at about 1.6% higher than we are right now. So that was a good move. Of course, a couple of weeks ago, we made some other moves. Those are looking good at the moment too. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, we are right at this pretty major support level right now uh, at around 3,900 on the S&P 500. We've been bouncing off of that several times. Uh, we actually fell below it a little bit today and then ended up at 3,901. So we're right there. So we'll see how this plays out. Uh, the next level supports about two or three percent below that. The problem is that there isn't any major support, at least as how I look at it, uh, for another 15 to 20 percent below that. So uh, that's why I was saying we're kind of on the edge of this cliff. You want to build up that parachute. You know, we have roughly 44% of our stock market exposure, uh, you know, in this kind of e ETFs with T-bills and ultra short-term bonds. Of course, we still have exposure for those kind of legacy holdings uh, that we have uh, that people want to keep. We still have exposure for these, uh, you know, pieces that have higher capital gains that we're still keeping as far as that goes. Uh, but outside of that, we're kind of building these parachutes and just trying to be cautious here. We'll continue to do that. Uh, if we fall through the 3,900, you know, barrier, uh, certainly makes some sense to probably, you know, add some more to the parachute uh, as far as that goes. Uh, now, one of the things that can happen here is we can have kind of surprise to the upsides. Uh, mainly, you know, the thing that I'm looking at that's a possibility there is the Federal Reserve meeting, which is next Wednesday. Uh, we had a Federal Reserve meeting uh, back, you know, uh, in July that really kind of got things running uh, because, uh, you know, they said some things that seemed a little softer, uh, you know, and those types of things. So it could make a difference as to what they do. The expectation right now it, for the majority is a three-quarter point uh, increase, uh, but there's also a group, you know, 30% of the market, you know, betting is on a 1% increase. So if we come out with a three-quarter percent increase, that would actually be, you know, taking that 1% off the table. That could be a catalyst to the upside. So there are pieces out there that can kind of get things running as far as that goes. Uh, but, you know, we're kind of falling out of some of these levels and the trend lines that are really important, uh, you know, and what have you too. So, uh, you know, it's just one of those times where it's better, I think, to be kind of sitting on the sidelines with some money uh, just to make sure, you know, that we don't end up in the downdraft uh, and, you know, we can get back in if things do start to improve as far as that goes. So uh, that's what's happening today. I look forward to uh, talking about this tomorrow. I have my show, uh, Talk Money with Tom on YouTube uh, from, you know, 1215 to 1. The beginning of my show, I'll do a summary for what I in the market. You can send in questions or ask questions during the show. I'll be happy to answer those uh, for you too. So look forward to seeing you then. Thank you very much.